welcome back. It is Monday, April 9th, and we are back from spring break. I hope you all had a wonderful time, and it is time to get back into what did we do in class today? Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Mr. Stevenson here. Yeah! <laughs> Classroom update of what is going on in Mr. Stevenson's class. So, first things first, we took a look with your bell ringer today at events leading up to what it is that we are looking at, the Intolerable Acts, the reaction by the British to the Boston Tea Party. And so to dust off the cobwebs and get you guys thinking about what was it that we were doing two weeks ago, and so you guys had to take events, the Townsend Acts, the French and Indian War, the Stamp Act, the Proclamation of 1763, the Boston Massacre, and the Boston Tea Party party and try and put those six events in order of how did they go, how did they flow, what did one lead to the other to be. And then you took a look at the word intolerable. What does intolerable mean? And the adjective to unable to be endured. And then we got to what is something that would be intolerable to you? And many of you mentioned siblings, car rides, all of those wonderfully painful things uh, that sometimes spring break comes along with. Uh, next, had you guys taking a look again at that timeline, except I removed the proclamation of 1763 from the equation and added in the intolerable acts as well as the declaration of independence. So having you guys think again about that timeline of events, then we dug into the meat of the situation there, the intolerable acts. And taking a look at the historical novel Johnny Tremaine. And we took an excerpt from that book, and the excerpt took a look at what was happening in Boston, how some folks in the colonies would have reacted less than approvingly of the action taken by the Sons of Liberty with the Boston Tea Party. But it was the reaction by the British which helps to coalesce the colonies into a cohesive unit. And then for the second part of the main meat of the lesson today, we took a look at two of the four coercive or intolerable acts. And those two were the Boston Port Act and the Quartering Act of 1774. And so the Boston Port Act closed off the Boston Port from all ships coming in, going out, was to be closed until the Bostonians had paid for all of the tea that was destroyed. Many of the families relied on shipping, relied on merchant trading, being able to get their boats in and out of the harbor. Those, uh, those in town who were fishermen needed to be able to get their boats in and out of their harbor. But the port closed down entirely. So that's going to make that awfully difficult. And if your way of making money is done and gone, how are you going to be able to pay and that's gonna be a problem. So that's going to be certainly intolerable, number one. Uh, and the second was the Quartering Act of 1774. Now, there had been a Quartering Act of 1765 that was installed, where if you had a spare bedroom in the house or you know, had a room in the house, then soldiers would be quartered among you and your family there. 
but the Quartering Act of 1774 flipped the script and now any unused building, a tavern, any building could be taken over and used as a quarter for soldiers. And so Boston with these two acts, the Port Act and the Quartering Act is going to look less and less like a city and more and more like a prison. And it's this, these intolerable acts, which are going to make the colonists realize that no, we're not gonna take it. We're not gonna take it anymore. And they are going to declare their independence. So, happy Monday, guys. We look forward to seeing you the rest of the week. Hope you had a great spring break and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you guys have any ideas for videos that I should make, whether it's on a, a subject that we've looked at already this year or are going to have upcoming, why don't you go ahead and throw some suggestions down in the box below and I'll see if I can get to it. All right, now I'll get out of here. Bye guys.